a new version of subtitle edit is almost here and uh, subtitle edit 3.6.13 rc1 that is the pre-release is available for us to review check for bugs and so on and so forth so here we go what you'll find uh, there is uh, some new find and replace windows improved uh, whisper support and then we've got proper case option new shortcuts and then the main text box uh, is a little bit wider but you can see the change log right about here and i will leave the link uh, in the description below for you uh, to kind of navigate to where you get this now uh the request from nixer is please give a test run and let us know if you find any bugs so uh, here is uh, the change log and this is uh, scheduled for release this May, uh, still in beta, uh, but what's new? Add a new subtitle format, uh, added Whisper C2, C Translate 2, add a proper case option in change casing, add shortcut for text color picker, add shortcut for 3 second forward, add more MPV preview settings in UI, add CMD convert param, add export to TTML, smpte.tt with inline b64 encoded png images added new settings for web vtt auto merge so those are highly welcome uh, and probably uh, see translate to uh, which is being referred to as faster whisper uh, but it's up to us to test it out and see and there are a couple of improved things and some other fixed options here so i've already downloaded and this particular release if i actually expand the assets right here it's a beta release uh, so you don't install you just extract the content to a folder like i've done here and then just click on the subtitle edit icon and once you do that it's going to open up and a couple of things i always do is i go to options settings and then video player and download the mpvlib you can see uh, it's uh, what I have here and it handles preview text uh, really good and some of the few things that we mentioned that are new are these particular options here if we actually look at that particular change log is that you'll see more MPV preview text in UI so I believe these are the options here uh, these were not available here but if you work with ASSA subtitles you'll see these options are uh, somewhere there uh, these options are highly welcome and hopefully they can also be added in the options to burn in subtitles to a video so that's highly welcome uh, next up what I always do especially for a fresh clean install uh, is go to video audio to text whisper and then download the different options uh, it's going to prompt you to download FFmpeg uh, download whisper CPP and then if you want to use the const me uh, that is the GPU powered uh, whisper uh, then you're also going to need to download this and in the new update we're going to have c translate 2 and then we're going to have whisper x so if you're wondering how to download whisper x and c translate uh, 2 uh, somebody asked that particular question because they had a problem installing everything that is needed for the uh, options audio to text whisper engines c translate 2 and whisper x so uh, this is what I gave up uh, and mentioned what they, they, they did there and then there's a response uh, and once we have that there is uh, you can see a quick reply here and then uh, still getting the error and then a recommendation was to install GIT and this solved uh, and everything works so once you follow these updates and I'll leave this link in the description below for this particular issue it's going to help you out uh, just do all that uh, but it's highly welcome to see especially new versions of whisper uh, at least having the option to use what you want uh, can probably uh, work best for you because I've noticed some people uh, that have older versions of GPUs see sometimes it's a little bit faster on OpenAI for me it's not but on const me it's super fast so it really depends but uh, this is a really good update and the box this particular box uh, if you look at this I believe uh, it should be somewhere here uh -huh. what is that particular option or maybe here main text box a little bit wider right here so this particular box is a little bit wider 
Uh, so when you're working on your subtitles, you're going to have more real estate uh, right inside here. Now, uh, that's just uh, scratching the surface, just informing you that uh, there's a release that's coming soon. Uh, and just try it out and see uh, if there are any bugs. And if you see any bugs, just come to the issues uh, section, create a new issue, describe it. If you have screenshots, if you have the error log text, just paste it in here. And hopefully the issue is going to be solved before the official release it out. So that's it for this video. I hope it's of value to you. Thanks for watching.